12 News, and I am here with another Room 12 News exclusive. Yes, third graders tried to get them. The second graders tried to get them, but I beat the, the uh, teachers here to the door. Got backstage at Harvest Christian Fellowship to interview the band, Leland. Hey, guys, thanks for meeting with the uh, kids in Room 12. Uh, Teacher yeah, Ray, no uh, can, can you just uh, take a few minutes and go around and introduce who you are and what you play? Cool. I'm Jack, and I play keyboards. Nice. I'm Leland, and I play guitar and sing. Hey, you got the same name as the band. That's kind of, yes. is it a coincidence? Uh, yes, it is uh, a coincidence. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Make sure it's all turned on too. Good. <laughs> I hate to have a, an interview and everybody's. <laughs> <laughs> Audio is always good. Yeah. Exactly. And you are Matt. I play guitar. Matt, and you are Mike. I play drums. Drums, and you got the cool hat too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The cool I'm, hat. I'm, yeah. Okay. He's the cool guy in the band. Definitely the cool guy. And you are? I'm Jake, and I play bass. Jake and the bass player. Ooh, do you play it up here, or do you play it down here? I, I play it right in the middle. Right, right in the middle of both of those. Just right in the middle. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, since you had that coincidence come up. How did you get the band, Leland? Well, it was actually my first name. So So I guess your mom and dad named the band. Yeah, mom named mom and dad named the band. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Okay, got, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. And you know what? How long have you guys been playing as a band? Why do we do the things we do? <laughs> and why do we say the things we say? We've been a band for about <laughs> um, probably around six years. So, I'm sorry, what do you play again? <laughs> <laughs> I play keyboards. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. I understand now. <laughs> Woo, okay. So, so uh, we saw you guys at the Harvest. Uh, crusade you know and, and I'm sure you guys have been playing in front of uh, huge audiences before and everything like that but you know you look out especially at the crusade and some other places where there are thousands almost 50,000 Christians all sitting there singing with you what's that like anybody want to answer that sorry I mean beyond, it's 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 awesome I mean it was an incredible experience just to look up there and the um, the um, Arena, yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, stadium, actually, yeah, stadium, and and see all those people and ha having them sing with you. It was it was really an incredible experience just to be a part of. So it was awesome. Now you know, um, uh, tonight you're going to be uh, broadcast on the on the web and all over. We're going to see a little bit of you uh, uh, in our classroom too. So um, I just want to let you know that don't be nervous. The fifth graders are watching, but don't be nervous. Okay, all right. Just just. Play like they're not even there. Okay, okay. got it. Okay, a awesome. uh, couple questions. Actually, uh, who has a dramatic, wonderful, fantastic uh, story to tell about how they became Christian? You know, like you got thrown out of an airplane and you're on your way, and God's hand scooped you up. We're all pastors' kids, so we weren't afforded the luxury to have those really cool stories. So we'll pray for you in in, yes. in class tonight. Then that's what we'll do. Please please pray for us. And uh, we actually have a lot of good church stories, but they're probably way too long to go into right now. But because uh, we've grown up in church, so it's it's pretty fun. So so cool. You've been Christian pretty much. I mean, you you've been around it. You've you've lived it. You've grown up, and and now you're you're walking the walk and talking the talk. Yeah, it's it's been cool. We, we've we kind of we were born under the under the pew, so to speak. So we've been in church our whole lives. It's been really fun. You know, where do you guys see yourselves in uh, 10 years from now? Coaching, like, some little league baseball or soccer or something like that. <laughs> wow, so you've got some really high aspirations to get out there. and. Uh, I got those nice coaching bike shorts. You know? Oh, yeah. I walk around in my house and I'm all the, the tight ones that come down to yeah. about just and above the knee. Clipboard and I'm running plays in my mind. I'm playing in the mountain now. That way when I get there, them kids are going, we're going to win the Pee Wee Championship. Woo. Mike, just give us another answer from your heart. You know, someday. <laughs> Should we come back to you? Yeah. That'd be like a serious answer. Anybody want to have a serious answer? Yeah. Um, talk a lot, so let's go to you. Um, Matt, why doesn't Matt give us a serious answer? Yeah, oh, wow. He's, like, he's going, what was the question? What, where are we? Uh, hopefully, you know, playing in California. Really? Right here? Right? Yeah, I mean, serious answer. that's serious. That's I'm serious. serious. I hope you guys invite us back we in do, 10 we don't, years. We don't know where that's we're going to be old. in 10 years. I mean, we we kind of just, I mean, who knows? If we're still doing this, and that's awesome. I mean, we kind of like God's plans, whatever God has for us. And we kind of, we didn't, I don't even think we thought we'd get this far, you know, doing what we're doing now. So, I mean, it's kind of just been the hand of God ever since, you know, we started. So we're just kind of riding the roller coaster, so to speak, and just kind of seeing where it takes us. And 
if God wants us to stop in a year, that's cool. If he wants to keep going for the next 20 years, we'll keep going. So it's kind of like it's whatever God has for us, and we just want to see what God has in store for our lives. So. Sweet. Well, you know what? I know you guys got to get going, and I got to get up to class, so I have one more question for you. And this is for whoever wants to answer. I'm just looking for somebody to share something from their heart for the kids in room 12, something on a spiritual note that you can leave with the kids. You're thinking, hey, I, I got an audience of some uh, 9, 10, 11, 12-year-olds. What can I say right now to them that would touch their heart? Anybody want to answer? Ooh, hey, there we go. Uh, just don't let God, I mean, don't let people look down on you because you're young. Uh, you know, even at you know, 11, 12 years old, you can be used by God. And, and uh, I mean, Leland was, was that age when he first started writing music, you know, and he's 19 now and, uh, you know, in doing this full time. And so don't ever let people look down on you because you're young and know that God, you can be used by God at that age. Yeah. Definitely. So you're not that much younger than I am. Okay, yeah, good. Not too far from you. Okay, good, good, good. Well, hey, you know what? I appreciate you guys meeting with the uh, kids and okay, oh, we're in the oh, kids in oh, room twelve. No, it's okay. If you don't want to shake my hand, it's all right. I understand. It's okay. Okay. Hey, thanks. Ah, I am Ray Wright with Room Twelve News with the man Leland. Back to you in the classroom. Okay.